When it comes to buying shampoo and conditioner, are salon products really better? We went to Blades International Salon to put some of the most popular color keeping products to the test. So let's see how drugstore products compare to the more expensive ones at the salon. Drugstore versus salon products. Jay is putting them to the test. <laughs> you know, hair color is expensive and we all want it to last. So everywhere you go, they have color preserving shampoos. You have really put these to the test. Explain what you've done. So what I did was I went to the store and I looked to find out what the top selling brands were in the store and compare them to what you have in the salon. Now, the key things that people look for is convenience, affordability, and the smell. I mean, hi, who doesn't want to smell, you know, a really great smelling shampoo, right? Yeah. So what I did then was equal amounts of water, equal amounts of shampoo. I started out with a light blonde hair color. I dyed it red so we could really see the results. And then I put them in to the bottles here and into the glasses and then let it sit for an hour and look at the gradients change of what they do. It's amazing to me. Jay Roberts, the owner of Blades International Salon in Rocky Hill says the ingredients tell the story. A drugstore contains a smaller amount of the key ingredients that are in shampoos and conditioners. Now, we as consumers don't know that, but the next thing is, is that what they do is they add more fillers in to dilute it, which means you have to use more. All of these store brands are prescribed for color-treated hair. Swab is from the drugstore. Everybody knows Swab, so that's why I purchased that. L'Oreal, big color company. I thought, hmm, interesting. Let's see what the consumer at the grocery store has to have with that. Pantene, the market is flooded with Pantene. Everybody knows it and it's talked about. But look at the difference in how much it actually took color out. Another one we hear tons about is Fructis Garnier. This I also bought at the grocery store. These are Jay's picks for salon-worthy color protection. So Redken shampoo is fortified for color-treated hair. It is one of their best-selling shampoos, and you do not need a lot. The next one is Purology Nano Gold. Again, for color-treated hair with a lot of hydration and moisture. In Jay's experiment, you can see the Pantene Pro-V Radiant Color Volume stripped color the most. The best color protection came from Redken Color Extend. Look at the difference between the two. So our loser, our winner. Wow, that is a big difference. And Redken Color Extend came out on top. Exactly. The reason this is so dark is a lot of that dye that you had just done came off. Yeah, that's the stuff that just blew me away, Karen. So maybe you aren't really saving money after all. Some people say it's expensive. Well, why? Because you're getting a higher grade of product and more key ingredients, and you're getting the full amount of the ingredients. The vitamins, the oils, the minerals, all those ingredients, there are less fillers in it, Kara. That's why you're, it's so much more concentrated than what's at the store. Well, also, if you don't need to get your hair colored as often, if you can preserve your color longer, you would be saving time and money that way. Exactly, you're saving more. Well, I think a lot of us wondered if it really mattered, and you just showed us it can really matter. It's so crazy. <laughs> All right, Blades International Salon is right in Rocky Hill on the Silas Dean Highway. You can visit Jay and his team there or follow them on Facebook and Instagram at Blades Salon. I could not believe how much color came out of the Pantene one. It's it was crazy. Right?